Hey gang, welcome to your seventh Django tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about migrations. Alright, so in the last lesson what we did was create a model in the code which was for an article and we had a couple more fields in this but the general concept is the same, we created that in the code. And the reason we're creating that model is so that we can map that model to a database, right? So we can store data, we can create instances of the model, then save that in the database and then retrieve them later on. That's what models are all about. But so far, this is just in our code and our database doesn't really know about the model. It doesn't know to create an articles table and start storing articles in there. We've not made that connection yet. So that's what migrations are all about. When we make a model, what we have to do is migrate that model to the database, okay? And then the database knows to create a table called articles and store these different columns in it, all right? Title and body and whatever else we have. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take our model and we're gonna make a migrations file and then migrate that to the database. So speaking of migrations, you might have noticed that when we run a server, we get this message over here and it says you have 13 unapplied migrations. Now, these are to do with the built-in models that Django has already created for us when we start a project. They're to do with the admin section, authentication, users, that kind of thing, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do before we start migrating our own model is to migrate these. So I'm just gonna exit out of the server by doing control C and the way we can do this, the way we can migrate these is by saying python manage.py migrate, all right? So let's do that first of all, python manage.py and then it's migrate, okay? So this is gonna sort all that out for us, make those migrations so that the database knows, okay, we're gonna be storing users and different things that Django wants us to do, okay? But that was everything Django did for us. We didn't create those models. Now what we want to do is migrate our own model, this article model, to the database as well. Now, before we just run migrate, we have to actually make a migration file, okay? And then we migrate the changes. So, a migration file basically tracks any changes that you make to a model. So, we're creating this model to begin with, like this. We'll make a migrations file, then make, uh, migrate that to the database. But later on down the line, we might be making changes to this model and adding in more fields. So, then what we do is we'd make another migrations file and migrate that to the database so that Django can look at the differences between the migration files and it can update the database basically, okay? So let's create the migration file first of all. We'll go to the console and the way we do that is by saying python manage.py make migrations, okay? So press enter, that's gonna make our mig uh, migrations file. You can see right here, it's made one. So let's just have a look at that. They're stored in this migrations folder inside the articles app because that's what we're migrating. And right here is where it's created that migrations file. So it's basically putting down here exactly what fields we want inside this model. And you'll see that it's automatically added that ID field I told you about. Django adds that ID field for us, all right, as well as our fields. So now it knows that these are all the fields we want in our table. So when we run python manage.py migrate, it's gonna mirror this to a database table called articles, okay? So let us do that. Again, we'll say manage.py and, oh, rather, python manage.py migrate. And that's gonna make this migration, it's gonna run this migration. So that's done now, okay? So now we've mirrored our model in a database. And every time that we make a model or we make a change to a model, we're gonna have to do this same two steps. We're gonna have to run migrations or make migrations rather, then we're gonna have to migrate them, okay? So the two commands are python manage.py make migrations, that makes the migration files, and then it's python manage.py migrate. 
and that migrates the changes to the database. OK, so every time we make a model or make a change to a model, this is generally what we're going to be doing. All right. So that's migration for you. Now we have our model sorted and migrated it to the database. In the next video, what we're going to do is take a look at the Django ORM and start interacting with that database.